Check this out, I made randomized towers for my game. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Oleg and welcome to another part of the devlog for my Unreal Engine 5 game, Circulation. In this video I will talk about how I made the towers and what purpose they actually serve. So if you're interested in game design and development, please keep watching. And by the way, you can already wishlist Circulation on Steam, that would be amazing, thank you very much. So first things first, why did I even decide to add another object, another component to the game. When I was playtesting the game and building levels, um, I started noticing, and also some people said, it looks and feels kinda empty. And although this is somewhat of a direction I want to go, um, I believe empty is not the right feeling I want to create. I believe a abandoned or vacant environment is a much better fit. I like to think of a abandoned factory that once served its purpose but now is just a bunch of pipes and metal um, standing and rotting away. But it's sometimes easier said than done because how to make it look so that it feels and looks abandoned. That means it was used at some point but not anymore. I believe to add some more visual flavor to the scene I could just create very simple um, geometrical forms to represent stones or structures, but it would match very well to the rest of the scenery. So two things I was considering while coming up with a design. The first thing is, the towers need to have a certain amount of detail. That means they have to be simple enough, but to have enough details in the construction to imagine a purpose. I could use a simple cylinder and just stack them on top of each other and it would make a tower, but other than that it doesn't serve any purpose. But when I start adding more details by creating those rings with the bolts in them and a bunch of poles that run through them and connect to each other, a bunch of wires, light bulbs and screws, it starts to look much more like a technical complex structure. And the fun part is it doesn't has to look like a real actual radio tower for instance, it just has to resemble it in some way with the antennas and, and the wires. And the second thought while designing was to stay consistent to the world. That means it has to stay consistent with the rest of the forms already in the game. Obviously I'm not gonna use the exact same geometry I already use in the game, but I also cannot use shapes with sharp edges like cubes or cuboids. I mean maybe there could be an exception to make an object stand out from the rest of the game, but for the most part I was using shapes like cylinders and spheres. The game is called Circulation, so I would expect circular or round shapes. Now let's get more technical and practical. Creating the meshes themselves wasn't difficult. However, one thing I wasn't necessarily thinking about while I started modeling the meshes in Blender is to give them a fixed size or a fixed height, although it doesn't matter too much because Unreal automatically stacks them on top of each other depending on the size of the segment. It's more of a practical difference in the workflow. Because let's say you have two towers with the same amount of segments, but the segments themselves are different height. The height of the towers will also vary. And for some reason, if you need them to be perfectly aligned, that could become an issue. So note to myself, when working with modular elements, try to keep the segments the same height. So I designed a bunch of different segments and imported them to Unreal. Now the blueprint for the tower isn't that complicated either. I'm using instant static meshes from an array of meshes and stacking them on top of each other using the bounding box of each segment with a loop. By the way, if you want a more detailed breakdown of the blueprint um, or you want a tutorial on this topic, please let me know in the comments. Now, if I want the tower to be higher, I'm just adding a bunch of segments. But there was one issue I wasn't satisfied with. The towers had nothing on top of them, no roof, nothing that completes the structure and that made them look unfinished. So I went back to Blender and designed a top part that goes on top of the towers. 
I also wanted to have more visual variety and that's why I designed a different, much more thinner segment. But then again, another small issue was the top from the thick cylindrical segments wasn't looking good on the thin segments. The balance was way off, so once again I went back to Blender and designed dedicated top meshes for the thin segments. And because in comparison to the other towers they look so thin and fragile, I guess that's why they reminded me of a flower stem or something. So I made the top part into a light bulb and one of them has something like petals. Now it wouldn't be very productive when I would go in and change all the values manually and adjust the top part to the core part. And that's why creating a useful construction script is so much fun. Now when I change the core part from thick to thin, the construction script does the work automatically for me and changes the top part according to the core part. So now I have a bunch of cool and technical looking modular towers that I can place throughout the levels to give it more visual variety. So yeah, that's it guys. I hope you learned something and it was interesting or inspiring for you. Please let me know in the comments if I missed something or if you would like to know more about my game or a certain part of it or how to make something. And the best way to support me is just to leave a like and subscribe and if you go on Steam and wishlist circulation that would be amazing. And let's keep working on our games because quality takes time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.